Hello, what's up? What's happening, ladies and gentlemen? The number one team in the nation is USC, followed by Michigan, South Carolina, Texas Tech, Miami, Ohio State, Cal, Missouri, Texas A&M, Tennessee, Alabama, Florida, Texas, Iowa, Oklahoma lost Texas Tech. I just said I don't think Texas Tech really played nobody like that, but they have. They just beat OU. That's a good look. They have the Heisman favor as of right now. He has a receiver that's beastly. We're going to try to catch him before the season is up. How is everybody doing, though? Excuse me. Mind my manners, okay? Just, I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry. How are you guys doing? Hope you guys are having a fantastic day, man. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day, man. I really, really am. I'm itching for football season. Are you guys? I mean, it's, it's June. Like, it's, it's June. You can kind of smell it in the air. Like, like you know, workouts are starting up. You know what I'm saying? You can smell it. College, pro, I'm all for it. Doesn't matter to me what league it is. It could be Canadian. I'm going to watch it. Anyways, man, Kirkpatrick looking downfield, letting that thing fly. Joy Williams, he is back after being injured. And boy, in the slot, that man is stupid good. Looking downfield is Kirkpatrick throwing that thing to Myers, who had a step, but the pass was well on the throne. Now we're going to run the ball with Blair. Gets up to the 20, cuts it back, and we're going to fall forward at the 15-yard line and pick up another first down. Blair going against the grain. The blocking, just beautiful. You got to be able to block. Okay, have good fundamentals. Put your hands in the right spot and open up the lanes for my tailbacks. Neil crosses the goal line. Touchdown, baby. And we out here cooking with grease. Grandma's recipe early and often. And then give me that Yahoo, Zay. I said give me that Yahoo. Give me that user interception. We got this thing going back the other way. Kirkpatrick. He's going to roll out, y'all, and he's going to get shut down. And just like that, we could be in big-time trouble. But then we got Kirkpatrick running the option, and we are in no trouble. He's going to cross that goal line. He has over, like, 25 touchdowns already. Passing and throwing combined. It is absolutely ridiculous what this kid is doing. First down and 10. John Paul Stone throws in the traffic. Ridgeway, our backup strong safety. He's in there and he's making plays for us. He's doing his thug fizzle. First down and 10. Looking down fields. Kirkpatrick lets it fly. Joy Williams inside the five. Touchdown, Ken State. 20 to nothing. And there's only been a minute 19 off the clock. So I know what you're thinking. Another blowout. Hold it, hold everything. Hold everything. I told you. I want to put my backups in. That could still happen. But don't disrespect Central Michigan like that. They're going to throw that thing to Schmidt. And Schmidt gets upfield. And he's going to get dropped a yard shy of the first down. Mark a quick pass. And here comes Central Michigan. They pick up their first first down of the ball game. They try to do the little QB keeper. And Strong. I'm loving Strong. Freshman. He is a solid linebacker. I love it. Linebackers. Titans that like the block. That's football to me. Yes, only one guy can get the football. I understand that. But all the other things that go on in football, that's football. John Paul Stone, he's going to pick up the first down the blocking by Central Michigan's big fellas up front. They led the way. Perfect pass right there. And Spencer is gone. What a pass. What a pass. What a pass. There's no defense for a perfect pass, and they're going to pick up a touchdown. And then, of course, after the touchdown, you see the foolery. You see the foolery. But Larson, he's going to pick it up inside his five. And then he gets dropped at around the nine-yard line. So we got a long ways to travel. Looking downfield in our plans. This got cut short as we throw an interception. Wilson steps in front of that thing. And it's first down and 10 at the 25-yard line. Stone throws it. Roberts with the catch. Holly is there for the stop. And Central Michigan picks up a first down the first. Play and then strong off of the edge. Gets in there for the sack, number 51 in your program, number one in your heart. My linebacker court is for real. We send a blitz again, forces a quick pass. Freeman makes the catch. And now looking at third down and eight from the 10-yard line. Stone lets it fly. That's caught. Curtis in the end zone. And here comes Central Michigan. The Chippewas are chipping away at this lead. First down and 10. Blair, direct snap. He's going to get up field, makes a man miss, fumbles the football, and Williams is Johnny or Joey on the spot. We're going to get that thing to Blair. He's going to try to get through traffic, picks up a gain of three. Tailback is now Neil. He gets the carry, working his way up the middle for a gain of four. So third down, three yards to go. Rolling out Kirkpatrick, letting the fly to Joey Williams, who fumbles the football. And here come the Chippewas. They pick it up, and they got it blown back the other way with Hall. That was a big-time pass play 
It would have went for a bunch of yards, but that fumble is going to neglect. Is going to negate all that goodness. Stone throws it to the left side. That's caught. Pittman, he gets loose. Pittman still on his feet, and he maneuvers his way upfield for a first down. Ball is at midfield. Toss play to Schmidt. Schmidt going to use his speed, and Walker is there for what could have been a touchdown saving tackle. Definitely was a first down saving tackle, and then Strong off of the edge. He's too strong. And he's just a freshman. And he's that strong. Oh, my goodness. Best believe he's the real deal. Holy field. But now Schmidt bounces to the outside. Picks up some good blocks downfield. Holly with the touchdown saving tackle. First down in 10. Stone throwing it up. And we're going to bat that thing away with Johnson. And that's going to land into the hands of Walker. Probably should have took a knee. But, hey, he's trying to get his ball on. So first down and 10 from the five-yard line. Neal, he gets the carry. He cuts it back and then takes a mean hit. He loses the football. And we turn the ball over again deep in our own territory. Bowser appears to be a tad bit shaken up. Stone, with time, rushes the throw. And that pass will fall incomplete. Second down and 10. They run to the outside. And Strong is there again. Beast in the feast. And those, th those two sacks today were his first two of his career. Shout out to him. Curtis makes the catch over the middle, brought down by Hart, and that's going to bring the drive to an end. They set up for a field goal, kick is up, and the kick is going to be good. So 21-17 is now the score. Larson trying to get upfield. He's not going to do a very good job of it. We're going to kick off at the 17-yard line. Kirkpatrick looking downfield. Has Williams, but that pass will fall incomplete. Overthrow him just a little bit. Kirkpatrick trying to turn the corner. Nothing doing. Good play by White, the cornerback on that left side. So Kirkpatrick going to roll that one more time. Throwing it, and that pass will be broken up, and we basically go three and out. Not a good look after they have scored. And now Spencer breaks a tackle. Spencer's off to the races, and Spencer gets chased down by Cook. So first and goal, Central Michigan trying to take the lead. John Paul is going to do just that. Touchdown, Central Michigan. So Bryant, about five yards deep in his own end zone, decides to bring it out, and we're not going to sniff the 20-yard line. So first and 10 from the 17. Blair trying to weave through traffic. Another big hit put on him. And after being up 21-0, we are down by three. Throwing it over the middle. Caught by Blair out of the backfield with all that speed. It's scary, I know. First down and 10. Play fake. Kirkpatrick rolls to the right side. Stops. Pops. Going to find Chad Lee. Crosses the 10 into the end zone. That's a 52-yard touch down pass and just like that we are back up front what can our defense do now granted two of those drives started inside like our own 20 yard line so not the defense's fault right there strong in your backfield again he's playing very very strong today have himself an epic game stone under some pressure strong he is there to deliver the hit and that pass falls incomplete under pressure again as stone throws it back the other way Caught by Roberts, and they're going to go three. And that's what the defense did answer the call. Now, offense, just don't turn the ball over. We should be all right. Blair, north and south, picking up a first down from the 45-yard line. Good blocking, but the Chippewas are able to swarm and hold us to a two-yard game. Kirkpatrick has space to operate, crosses midfield up to the 40, and he's going to slide down right there, and that's going to be a first down from the 33-yard line. We're going to pass it. No, we're just going to run it with Kirkpatrick. He gets out of bounds. Minute 23 on the clock. Blair trying to turn the corner, and he will. And that's going to be a first down, y'all. So we're up to the 20-yard line. First down and 10. Our formation. They send a blitz. Not going to get there. They kind of get some pressure going. Kirkpatrick is going to be able to escape. Picks up the first down and again slides down inbounds. So the clock will continue to move. 37 seconds on the clock. Give the ball to Neal. He gets stopped. Second down and goal. Get the ball to Neal again. And again, the Chippewas are there for the takedown. Third and goal. Again to Neal. And that is just not going to get the job done. We have to settle for a field goal. The kick is up. And the kick is going to be good. And we're going to take a seven-point lead into the second half. Again, I thought we were going to see the backups. We still might. But my goodness gracious, we got to step our game up here in the second quarter. Second half, excuse me. Schmidt makes the catch. Johnson is there for the stop. And this is what my defense can do. We swarm to the football, too. They throw it. That pass will fall incomplete. Can we get another three and out? This time to kick off the second half. They go with a play fake. Stone has it. Throws it over the middle. Caught by Spencer. The ball is out. And it's going to be recovered by Cook. The homie Holly forced the fumble. Cook is there on top of it. And we get the ball right back. 
Kirkpatrick rolling out, throwing the ball to Childs, and that pass will fall incomplete. Trying to get the tight end more involved in this offense. Blair, he's going to get the carry, and maybe we're just destined to run the football all day long. He has 760 yards. I'm not quite sure if that is the lead because the way that the schedule is, the computer or the system knows that everybody plays around 12 to 11 games. And sometimes I would be like the leading rusher one week and then be like fifth the next week. So, hey, I don't know. But, again, we'll see at the end of the year who is leading the league in rushing. And I know he is not tied for first when it comes to touchdowns because the homie Kirkpatrick has rushed for like 11 of them already. Kirkpatrick looking downfield. That pass will fall. It's like 15. I don't know. Not a touchdown pass right there is what I do know. Going to pitch that thing to Blair. He's not going to get into the end zone, but he will pick up a first down. So we're 0 for 3 on third down. Can we convert right here? Yes, we can as we get into the end zone. Touchdown, John Blair. And it's 38 to 24. We get in there with the sack. That's Robert Johnson off of the edge. And the sacks are piling up today. That pass going to be caught by Roberts right over the head of Larson. He's going to race up the sideline. And they got the ball at the 45-yard line. Single back set. Throws the ball in the traffic. And it's the homie Strong. What a day. What a performance. The man is totally out here beasting and feasting, to say the least. First down and 10, Kirkpatrick. Under some pressure, he's going to roll out. Could throw the ball downfield. Decides to keep it. Gets up to the 30 and slides just shy of the 25-yard line. First down and 10, Neil. He gets the carry. Neil with good block and turns the corner. Then chased down from behind, but not until he picks up a first down. This offense is too hot to handle. There's no other mints on the football field last time I checked, and that pass will fall incomplete. Second down and 10, Kirkpatrick. He's going to keep it himself. Dives for the goal line. He crosses it. Touchdown, Kent State. 44 to 24, tack on the PAT, and now it's 45 to 24. That pass quickly thrown, and then Johnson, William Johnson, a big freshman middle linebacker making plays. These two freshman linebackers, it's going to be fun to watch them tackling and harassing running backs, quarterbacks, tight ends, receivers crossing the middle for the next three to four years. First down and 10, Kirk Patrick, he's going to keep it, and he's going to get out of bounds too fast. Second down and three. They run the ball with Blair, who's even faster, but he's only going to pick up kind of about five in the new first down from the 44-yard line. Neil trying to get out of a tackle. Can't quite do it, but they went for the strip, and he hangs on to the ball. That's what I need. Blair, he does not hang on to the ball. So can we convert on third down and nine from the 45? Play fake. Kurt Patrick lets it fly as he rolls to the left side, and that missile nobody wants to deal with. Everybody just, you know, got up out of there because that pass was too hot. And nobody wanted to touch that thing. Second down and eight. Can we get off the field? That's going to be intercepted by Brown. Brown's going to take it to the crib. Touchdown, Kent State. And boy, oh boy, our defense is eaten. So we started the fourth quarter. Now Jacobs, he's going to be in the ball game. He throws a pretty good pass to Spencer. Brought down by Cobb. And ladies and gentlemen, we do have our backups in the ball game. Jacob throws it to the right side. That's going to be caught by Cunningham. Breaks a tackle. He's fine for every inch, but that's not going to be enough to get the first down and we take over. Then Bryant, he fumbles the football and the Chippewas are going to jump right on top of it. They're down big, but they're still playing with some heart. Schmidt, he's going to get the carry and he's going to pick up the first down because you play, you play to win the game. But you also, you play to play the game. You know what I'm saying? Second down and 10. Jacobs, he throws that thing. Cunningham's going to race into the end zone. Touchdown, Central Michigan. They're going to go for an onside kick. We are there with Bowser, who was okay after his broken thumb. Who knew a receiver could play football with a broken thumb? I mean, I guess it's possible. But maybe like the next week, maybe not the same game. But hey, it is what it is. Second down and two. Penn going to hand that thing off to Steven Jackson. And he's going to pick up the first down, rocking that 22 like Oliver used to do back in the day. Give it to him again and again. The Chippewa defense is swarming all around my run game. Second down and eight. Give the ball to Neal. Neal makes a man miss, and Neal's going to fall forward. Now, he is basically a starter, but hey, I'm going to have him in to get some reps because we all know John Blair is going to get the majority of the carries week in and week out, and Neal needs some work, okay? Everybody needs some work. Looking downfield is Penn throwing it to Bowser, and that pass will fall incomplete. Ball's at the 31-yard line. Penn is going to tuck it and run. Picks up a nice block by Childs. Slides. He's safe. And we have a first down. Now Penn's going to keep it himself in the option game. That's, that's the recipe for success, y'all. 59-31 is the final. That is what 
I am talking about, y'all. We continue to do our thing this season. And I think it's going to be a pretty spectacular year. Looking for another 10-win season, of course, including the ball game. If we can get to that 11-win total, though, that would be solid. Got to get back to that MAC championship game for that to happen. And I think we are on pace to do that. We should dominate this conference and this division for the foreseeable future. As long as we have Kirkpatrick and the weapons that we have, it should be pretty Pretty, pretty easy. Pretty slick. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, I think the rest of the conference knows that they're in trouble. Like, the conference for us is a slim pickings. When it comes to competition, I'm just joking. Pretty good competition in this conference, but we're starting to separate ourselves. Next game is going to be versus Ball State. They are 3-3. Three and three. We are 4-2 and two on a three-game win streak. Hope to see y'all there. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope that the rest of your day is the best of your day. And until we meet again, my friends, peace, love, Awesome.